The latest now on the Rhode Island budget proposal passed unanimously last night by the House Finance Committee. The $8.6 billion tax and spend plan unveiled yesterday includes several breaks for businesses. But some say a lot more needs to be done to improve Rhode Island's corporate climate. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Kleiner joins us live now with the Mobile Newsroom. Shannon, good evening. The man you're about to hear from, often at odds with Smith Hill. He says he's heard the right things from Speaker Nick Mattiello during his short tenure. The ship is headed in the right direction, he says, but it needs to speed up. The state budget wheels now turning rapidly. Unanimous vote out of committee late Tuesday night on the nearly $8.7 billion package, much of what Governor Gina Raimondo wanted. In it, a repeal of the sales tax on commercial energy, a reduction of the minimum corporate tax by $50, and a new break on Social Security benefits, all paired with increased taxes on bed and breakfasts and cigarettes. The speaker calling the budget pro-business. Mike Stenhouse leads the Rhode Island Center for Freedom and Prosperity, a free market think tank. There are some pro-business elements. There are also some anti-business elements, you know, in adding a tax on insurance premiums. We need broader reforms, deeper reforms, because there are too many people without jobs and too many people still leaving our state. While seen as a big win for the governor in her first year, two budget items thus far nixed, the so-called Taylor Swift tax on million-dollar second homes and commercial truck tolls to fund roads and bridges. We're pleased that the speaker excluded uh, those two items from the budget, although we do suspect that the trucker toll issue is going to come back. And the full House of Representatives expected to take up this budget proposal on Tuesday. We, of course, will follow it every step of the way. Live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.